Hey there everyone, welcome to our series Automate the Boring Stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In today's video, we will be looking at coordinate systems. So let's access this coordinate system. So we will go to model first from model dot get children's. I think coordinate systems, yeah, coordinate systems are there. So you will see it is returning coordinate system and if I check the name, it is coordinate systems and if I uh if i click on activate then it should get highlighted so we have we have targeted the right uh object so let's assign it to some uh variable i will call it as cs which is our main coordinate system so remember there are two things one is coordinate systems and another is coordinate system coordinate system are all the children's coordinate systems is the main parent object so if i type cs dot children then you should get there is only one coordinate system to access that first coordinate system which is our global coordinate system i can also write um, name it as ccs C, C, global ccs global coordinate system which is nothing but cs dot children and it is the first element of this ob object list so gcs dot name which is our global coordinate system if you want to look at the properties these are just read only properties so i don't think there is anything to learn here anyway you can do uh, uh, you can just copy the object name and type uh, what are the things you can do you can see origin x which is 0 0 0 and origin x is just 0 which returns a quantity you can see the return type is get or set and quantity since this is a read only property anyway you can out set anything so if you just want to see whether it is possible or not mm. you can do quantity instead of zero let's make it one centimeter ideally it should not get changed yeah this property is parameterized and read only so all the grade uh, grade properties are read only let's create a new coordinate system so here uh, uh, here coordinate system was cs so i can let me clear this window so this is cs dot create add code sorry not create it's add coordinate system so since this will return a coordinate system so i will just assign it to some name call this as cs1 which is our custom coordinate system if you see it is created now what are the things which are most useful to us first one is geometry selection suppose you are selecting multiple faces maybe you have already selected you know the ids of it or maybe uh, you have named it to some selection info you can assign it here or it may be a name selection so based on those um, face ids or uh, anything you are uh, storing into a uh, named uh, selection and then you are assigning it here you don't have to change this defined by anything that you access suppose you are sending a selection info it will automatically change to geometry selection if you are sending a name selection it will change it to name selection if you are trying to uh, go through global coordinates it will automatically change so let's uh, let's start with global coordinate system so to understand what is the origin so you can just type cs1 dot origin you will see it is returning 0 0 0 uh, this is also a read only property but it it's showing no unit so whatever current unit system uh, you have selected based on that it will show uh, for example if i select this you will see it is around 10 5 and 10 if i rerun that it will become 10 5 and 10 remember this is a float this is not integers and once i change the unit system so this should identity get changed see it is changing so this is not useful for us so the best thing is you can do cs dot origin x cs one dot origin x so this you will see it is a get and set and type is quantity so here you can change this you 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 are seeing it has a both a magnitude and unit as well so you can change those values so uh, let's assume that you are going through global coordinate system not through uh, not through any geometry selection so what you can do is you can just type cs one is equal to quantity and i will send one meter similarly for xyz you will see it has automatically changed the global coordinate system from geometry selection similarly for y i will make it as one and similarly for z axis i will make it as one 
So remember, whenever you are sending arguments such as origin x, origin y, or origin z, automatically this will change to global coordinate system. Let's see whether we can go for selection info. So to to save some time, let's see. Uh, I I will create a selection info from this um, uh, current selection. So I will just type ext api dot selection manager dot current selection so you are seeing this returning i selection info let let me store it to cell info once i do that to cell info i can just pass that cell info to cs1 dot location this is nothing but origin location is equal to cell info and you will see this has changed to uh this is, you will see this has changed to the current uh, current selected phase whichever is stored in cell info and it got changed to geometry selection on all, all those uh, global coordinates which were which you had said before has been reset based on the selected phase so this is done next is name selection let's create a name selection from selection info so i will just type model dot add name selection or add name selection from selection this also i can do from select no this i cannot do this selected connection not selected faces so i will add a name selection it will return an object but i don't want to store it or use it. yeah i want to store it hmm. i want to store it somewhere so i will just add name ns it added a name selection and and then ns dot location is equal to cell info and you will see it has selected the face let's check it out yeah it's the same face and then i will assign this ns to cs1 dot origin location cs1 dot origin location and i will pass the name selection which is ns and you will see if i go to coordinate system it has automatically changed to name selection it has become selection from name selection also I, it is allowing to change this value so you can just uh, go to origin x uh, i'm not sure if it will change the name selection as well yeah it is changing so there should be some option to change this let's see what it is cs1 dot origin uh like we have origin defined by origin location anything uh, it's coming as component uh let's see if we have some other option okay we are not having anything for that let's see if we can access that value is it coming the same yeah it's coming the same so uh i think once you pass then pass this argument it is automatically changing to global coordinate so maybe you are you won't be able to change it yeah it's changing to global coordinates uh here also you cannot do anything okay so anyway this is coming according to uh, name selection so once you pass this values uh, it is changing but somehow through api it is not allowing but there must be there must be some option to change it by keeping name selection let's check if we have anything related to x x axis origin x let's try to uh, change it using origin this is double so i will just pass in 0 .0, 0 .0, 0 0.0 0 0.0 and yeah so by this you can change but anyway uh, the name selection rem remains intact and uh, this is taking the current unit system so maybe you have to change the unit system first and then enter those values okay let's move on to this so you have two uh, two things here one is principal axis and another is uh, orientation about principal axis so basically these are called as primary axis and secondary axis for example uh, this x axis is oriented as per x axis suppose i want the primary x axis to be along y axis so you will see x axis of this uh, user coordinate system is same as y axis of uh, global coordinate system so let's uh, 
let's change those things using api so first one is uh, you have to type cs1 dot primary access you will see it is returning positive axis and if you see the type it's a enum property so this is the member and fields will be under under this member so you can if you type equal to automatically this will come up and then you have to type what you want maybe positive x axis so i already have x axis so i will just make it y axis then you will see this has changed to y axis similarly uh, if you go to cs1 dot this defined by is primary axis defined by primary axis defined by you will see it is global x again it's a enum property automatically this will come alignment type and then if you type uh, it's already x axis i will make it y and this should change to y axis so this was this both which i am showing is primary axis let's talk about secondary axis suppose primary axis is already done see suppose uh, in a 3d three dimensional space to uh, to align a coordinate system you need you need two two reference one is any one axis and another axis out uh, out of those remaining axis so this will be cs1 dot secondary axis you will see it is positive axis let's make it y or z so it will be positive z and you will see let me take this up you will see this has become z similarly defined by this will be cs1 dot secondary axis defined by and it is telling us free because it's showing default if i want to change it again i can make it as per z and you will see it has become z axis now there are a couple of other options which you might not see here but you can add for example uh, you can add an offset you can add a rotate or flip let's see if we can offset the x axis by certain distance it will be cs1 dot offset x and you are seeing it does not return anything because it's telling void and it takes two things maybe uh, it will just insert but it will not insert any value and if you click on this next you will see it is asking for a value so let's give some value maybe 0.2 and then you will see based on the current unit system it is taking as offset of 0.2 you see there is um, you cannot send a quantity here but i am not sure if it will take or not it takes one argument let's send a quantity here if at all it allows i'm not sure and then i will type 0.1 centimeter guys it is not taking the unit as you see it is adding 0 0.1 0 0.1 0 0.1 but um, it's not taking the unit that we are sending so you have to first uh, you have to first in, um, first change the unit system and then work on this coordinate system uh, this is for offset and for rotate you have to type cs1 dot rotate and then you have one option to send value here it will be in current unit system maybe uh, degrees or radian so if i say two you will see based on the current unit system two degrees it has added rotate similarly you can do it for uh, for flip also so if you type flip x it's a function it's not going to take anything anyway there is no second um, argument uh, apply so if you type that it will just flip it flip x to minus x so this was all about coordinate systems and coordinate system uh, thank you all for watching see you soon in next video